In King Follett's sermon, Joseph Smith does not succeed in proving his perversion of the nature of God with scripture. In fact, what he does is he misquotes scripture and takes it completely out of context and adds a bunch of new theology to it. For example, he tries to quote John chapter 5 verse 26, but in his sermon he says, As the Father hath power in himself, even so hath the Son power. To do what? Why, what the Father did? The answer is obvious, in a manner to lay down his body and take it up again. Jesus, what are you going to do? To lay down my life as my Father did and take it up again. Do we believe it? Okay, well first of all, John chapter 5 verse 26 is what he's trying to quote. But the actual verse is, For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. Second of all, the father never laid his life down because he cannot die. He is God. Are you guys crazy? Jesus Christ died because he became a man, but he resurrected back to life because he is God. He is the God man. The father is not a man. He has never been a man and he has never died. From everlasting to everlasting, he is God. Joseph Smith tries to quote scripture again, but fails miserably. In the following paragraph, he says, Here then is eternal life, to know the only wise and true God. And you have got to learn how to be gods yourself and to be kings and priests to God, the same as all gods have done before you. First of all, that's utter blasphemy. Second of all, he's trying to quote John chapter 17, but the verse is actually, And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Right in that verse, it literally tells us, The only true God. There's only one, and it's only God. And in Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Who is this Jesus Christ? In verse 5, it tells us that Jesus shared glory with the Father even before the world began. In the Old Testament, God constantly reminds us that he will not share his glory with another. Well, Jesus is God, and so there is no need to share the glory with another if they are the same God.